Welcome back, folks, to the DUI channel. We are in Normal, Illinois, where on January 19th, 2020, at 2.47 a.m., a normal police officer observed a vehicle rolling through a four-way stop intersection heading southbound on Fell Ave. The officer followed the vehicle and activated their emergency lights to initiate a stop. The officer pulled over and approached the vehicle as his investigation begins. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, good. How are you? I don't have my license on me at the moment, just to be honest. Okay. Uh... I, I stopped you because you didn't stop at the stop sign back there. Okay. On Fell and Bra or Fell and Beaufort. Okay, sorry about that. Um, that's why I stopped you. Understandably uh, is there a reason so. why you just stopped at the stop sign and didn't move? No, I shouldn't have. I was just looking at my GPS, quick. I'm picking up my friend, and I was just looking, and I should have, okay. you know, I should have probably pulled over and like looked around. I'm okay. Sorry. You don't have any ID on you at all. No, I do not. I can give you my name though. Okay. Yep. Sorry about that. I should. I really should have one out. What are you out doing tonight, man? I was just out at my house, and um, my friend said, come pick me up, so I said I was going to... Where's she live at? No, it's a girl. Um, oh, where's she, she live at? Yeah, so I was, like, right near there. But, okay. Yeah. All right. Do you have insurance for the car? I do, somewhere. It'll take Same me a point. second, but it's in here somewhere, my friend, all right? <laughs> it's definitely in here somewhere. I might take a second though, let's see here. I'll take another possible 5-5. Five five. Uh, that's just the registration. Like, do you have like an insurance card? I don't know if I have one on me, to be honest. Okay. DMV, uh, whatever you need. Okay. Sorry. I All right. I, have, I, don't, I don't know if I have insurance proof on me, to be honest. Okay. Um, I would have to issue you a citation for that because you always uh, have to have uh, yeah. proof of insurance. Understandably so. Um, I mean, I, I should have proof of insurance on me. So. Okay. I, All right. I don't at the moment, I don't think. So if you have to issue me one, I totally understand. I got registration, I got all the other here going Okay. On, but... Alright man, just give me one sec, I'll be right back. Okay? No problem. No problem. Alright. Hey Grayson, have you been drinking at night, man? No. No? Okay. No. Not even just a little bit? No. Okay. Because you kind of smell like alcohol, the alcoholic beverage. Are you sure you haven't had like a couple beers or anything? I had like two way earlier though. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Mean... Would you mind if I took you down? To the police department right down there you're not under arrest or anything at this point i just want to run you through some tests i would make choose sure not okay to, to if possible okay um, um if you do refuse though um i will have to put you into custody uh just because i mean it's you know that would be a refusal and then i couldn't have you blow so that'd be a double refusal I would really assume that yeah um like i said you're not under arrest at this point but based on you know just breath your breath and it smells like alcoholic beverage I at least want to run you through some tests to make sure you're okay to drive. All right. Okay. I'd prefer not to, if possible. Um, okay. It's fine if you guys want to do what you got to do, but okay. honestly, I had two way earlier, so I'm really not interested in that. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, I, I usually would do it right outside here. That's why uh, the taking you down to post would be the option there. Um, it's just very cold outside. And Yeah, yeah. No, most okay. definitely. All right, man. Well, just give me one second here, okay? Okay. Sure. You refuse. You refuse to do fields. You ain't got no choice. You can place him under arrest. Yeah, I told him. I told him that I was like, I'm gonna put you in custody. Um, so I assume he's gonna refuse at post too on the breath. If you refuse everything, then we just tap up the more and go from there. He can, if you refuse, you can't just say you're done. You can be all right. Cut your car, step out, and go. All right, Grayson. Yeah. Hey. Are you sure you want to refuse the test? Yeah, I I'd okay. prefer not to. Okay. Um, so, like I said, I will have to place you under arrest for the time being then. Okay. Um, so, if you can go ahead and step out for me. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah. Sure. All right. Just go ahead and place your hands behind your back for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll bring two. 
Jordan um, 95 right now. We're just going to tell Escort 1 to post it. Then if he refuses yep. anything, that, then we take it All right, Grayson. So uh, I'm yeah. going to transport you down to post. Okay, sure. Um, you'll be given the option to do a breath test. If you refuse that, actually, we're going to go to the front seat okay. here. If you refuse that, we'll have to get a warrant, and then we'll take you down to the hospital. They'll do blood and, blood and urine test, okay? Okay, sure, sure. Sorry, I forgot to add stuff up here. It's okay, no problem. Go ahead and take a seat there, man. Step up? Yep. Go ahead and step up. Yep. Gonna go to that room on the left there. Anybody at post BAO certified? Therefore, can you use 25 with me down at the DUI room? Right. So you can go ahead and have a seat, man. Sure. <clears throat> All right, so Grayson, just one more time, I'm going to give you the opportunity again if you want to do those tests we talked about. Um, Say now would be your time to say if you'd want to do them or not. Uh, now that we're in a more controlled environment. Sure. So I mean, I, I'd prefer not to, honestly. I, I think I should just be able to go home. But okay. I'd All right. Not to hear this house, so. Okay. So, um, For fields? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, do you have any questions about what I read to you? No. Um, just the big, the big takeaways there. If you refuse to provide a breast sample, um, that's that'll be what this machine is. Um, you'll be suspended for a minimum of twelve months. Okay. I okay. Understand. Um, and that's if you refuse to do the test there. Okay. I understand. All right. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. I don't have anything in your mouth or anything, do you? No. Okay. We're all good. All right. I'm going to unhandcuff you here and cuff you to the other part of this bench. Okay. What hand are you? Right-handed. Right -handed. Right -handed? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, if you want to just uh, slide over. Right here? Others, uh, one more over. Sure. Then we'll no get to this one here. Absolutely. <clears throat> so I'm going to need you to sign that thing. I want to sure, get sense. you something that you can write with. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. This is the breath sample machine, okay? This is what's gonna take your breath. You can see it says purging. That just means it's purging the system. There's a can of sterile air in there. It basically vents the system, make sure it's only gonna test your breath. Okay? Sure. sure. 
You have the option to refuse this. I just want to make sure you're clear so you don't think we're tricking you. What he read explained that yeah. the refusal, you get the automatic harsher penalties, correct? Sure. You understand all that. Yeah, yeah. So even if you blow a million times legal limit, the penalties are less. It's more severe. That's because Illinois is an implied consent state. Okay. Meaning by driving, your consent is implied. Sure, so sure. they hit you with harsher penalties for the refusal. Sure. Also, just so you're aware, uh, in normal, if there's a double refusal situation, meaning you refuse to do fields and you refuse a breath sample, our policy is to go forward with getting a search warrant. So what that means is I'll take you to the hospital. He will meet with an on-call state's attorney, draft an affidavit. If a judge signs that, that's a warrant that he would sign. We bring the warrant to you at the hospital. It's a felony to then not provide blood and urine. Sure, I'm just sure. explaining all that so you don't feel blindsided if you decide to refuse. I want you to know what's going to occur from yeah. that. Okay? Yeah, I understand. Do you wish to provide a breath sample? No, I do not at okay. the moment. Just if you would, press the R for me for refusal. Okay. And then it wants to know yes or no. Why? Okay. That works for me. Go ahead and take a seat. I'm just sure. going to put your hand back on. Yes, no problem. Check the box for refused. And then you'll just read this portion to him now, and then because you refused, the suspension is for 12 months. So just that top paragraph in the line you check. All right. Grayson, I've got some more reading for you here. Um, the suspension revocation shall take effect on the 46th day of the following issuance of this notice, subsequent to an arrest for violating section 11-501 of Illinois Vehicle Code or similar provision of a local ordinance or section 11-401 of the Illinois Vehicle Code. You are hereby notified that on the date shown above, you were asked to submit a chemical test to determine alcohol, other drugs, or intoxicating compounds, or any combination thereof, content of your breath, blood, urine, or other bodily substance, are warned of the consequences pursuant to section 11-501.1 of the Illinois Vehicle Code. You have the right to a hearing to contest your suspension slash revocation. You must file a petition to rescind your suspension slash revocation within 90 days of this notice. Because you refuse to submit to or fail to complete testing, your driving privileges will be suspended for a minimum of 12 months. Okay? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> you have no free to call the sub in at the DUI room. All right. And then uh, I'm going to read you your Miranda rights because I've got a few questions to ask you uh, for policy. Just there's a bunch of random questions on here. Uh, you'll see. Um, so um, right. you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford, afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any of my questions or make any statements. So essentially, you can refuse to answer any of these questions I'm asking you. I'm still going to ask you them. You can say, you know, whatever, no, just whatever. Um, all right. So do you know what time it is now, roughly? I mean, I guess probably 3 a.m. Okay. I don't know for sure. Were you operating a vehicle at the time of the stop? Yes. Uh, have you been drinking? No. Uh, yes. Are you under the influence of an alcoholic beverage right now? No. no. It says if the breath, if the breath test was refused, why did you refuse? I just don't think it's necessary. All right. The suspect was taken to Broman Medical Center where a search warrant was obtained from the state's attorney and judge in the ER lobby of the hospital to obtain the suspect's blood for chemical testing. Thanks, sir. All right. Here is the warrant for your guy. Okay. Here's everything out, out like awesome. the complaint and the warrant for your record. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can we get 
to real quick. Yeah, Thank you. You're yeah, it kind of froze up a little bit. It's like, I don't want to do fields. So it's like, uh. uh. Copy or this is your copy? Oh, it's, it's a copy, so that's actually his copy. Do you have a copy of this? Yeah, it's, it should be in that okay. paperwork. Judge Koskin, he signed it right here, 4.23 a.m. My watch shows 4.26, so three minutes ago, right out in the waiting room. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to let you read through this. I'll kind of sure. explain it. If you have questions asked, there's no trickery. I'm not trying to pull a fast one on you or anything like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of the questions people ask right off the bat is, what happens if I don't go with the program on this? Well, right now, you're looking at just a misdemeanor DUI. Simple as that. If you don't go with the program on this, you're going to be looking at felony obstruction charges. Felony is a lot worse than a misdemeanor. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. Okay. Same. Makes sense? Yep. What questions you got for us? No, not at the moment. All makes sense? Yep. Okay. Makes this sense. Is going to be your copy? Sure. Keep that right there. All right. Our copy, just let me ensure that we do. Okay. We will just wait on hospital staff to do their thing. Cool. We'll go from there. All right. Thanks. I'm going to uh, give this to you. That's yours. And if you have questions, I'm just going to be right out here. You can ask all three. All right, thanks, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. Just make copies of this real quick, then we'll seal it. <laughs> Shift, sorry, but it's late. Yeah. 11 to 7. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to put your sweatshirt back on? Yeah, if that's okay. Yep. Sure. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that paperwork. Do I take it? So it's good. Yeah. You're, do you know what's happening there? No, I do not. Okay. So now you're going to go with me and we're going to take you to the county jail. Okay. Okay. So um, we'll get you booked in and then um, do you have a cell phone on you or anything? No, it's in my truck. Okay. Do you know numbers of people that you need to call? If need be. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. If need be. Because you'll be able to um, bond out. Okay. So they'll tell you how to go through that whole process. They'll let you call people and um, go from there. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I got three numbers in my head. So. Three hundred to bond out. That sounds great. Yeah. Okay. So. Fair enough. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I take this with me or I don't? Can yes, I? you'll take that with you. Okay, cool. Throw it in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Copy for you. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and take that back with you to post. Um, head out to the field arrest, and then I'll transport for you. Okay. So I should just my vehicle's in you guys' hands for now, right? Yep. So it yeah. got towed. Okay. okay. So it got towed by Joe's towing. Okay. Cool. My phone is in there. Um, it's in a secure locked lot. Okay, Your cool. truck should be locked as well. Okay, okay. cool. So I'm just, just worried about them. the cold with the phone, you know. But it should be okay, right? I would think so. I don't. Uh, I'm not good. a technology person. It's okay. All right, real quick, you can see that's sealed. Yep. I'm going to give him possession of it, okay? Okay. All right, Thank stay you. warm, guys. Yep. Do you have any questions for the rest of the No, I do not. All right. I do not. So I'm going with one of y'all. You're going yep. with me. You'll be going okay. with her. Um, okay. Just going to place you in cuffs again. And sure. Behind the back. Yep. All right.
What do you think that is? You look different than the last time I saw you. <laughs> same, wearing the same thing. Wait a minute, when was the last Maybe it's a stocking cap. Maybe he had a beard. When I had that crazy guy. Oh, yeah. Um, badge number. Yep, or I can sign it. I'll just. And there you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You guys are all set. Take care. Thanks. Anything? Any other questions for me no, or anything? Thank All you. right. Thanks for being cooperative tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Thank, thanks to you as well. Following the blood draw, the suspect Grayson was determined to have 0 0.106 grams per deciliter of ethanol in his blood. The legal limit to drive in the state of Illinois is 0 0.08 grams per deciliter of ethanol. He was subsequently charged with disregarding a stop sign driving under the influence or DUI and DUI with a blood alcohol content of 0.08% or more. While the former two charges were dismissed, the final charge was withheld following supervision after the defendant pled guilty on October 19, 2020. Following a successful 24 months of supervision, the DUI charge was formally dismissed by the court on October 19, 2022. The defendant was ordered to pay $2,068.50. This amount has been paid in full. Including supervision, Grayson was also ordered to participate in an alcohol program.